Um, so Neil Basu was accompanied, and you'll see it afterwards, by Sue Hemming uh, from London CPS and also the Chief Medical Officer. Uh, and he was able to tell people that we have received, reached a very significant point today in the investigation uh, in relation to the attempted murders of Sergei and Yulia Skripal in Salisbury. Uh, and that uh, there are, as the CPS said, uh, is sufficient evidence uh, to charge two uh, Russian nationals. Uh, we released uh, images of two suspects this morning. Um, both are Russian nationals and about uh, 40 years old, and we are appealing uh, for witnesses. Um, the two suspects were in London uh, between the 2nd and the 4th of March at various points, uh, and hence the appeal is also to people who may have been in London at the same time. Uh, the chief medical officer uh, was, I didn't actually see her precise words, but I know uh, the intention, uh, she was there saying that there were that people who were traveling on the transport that these people may have used, people who were present at the station that these suspects uh, used, uh, are safe. And, and she is provided a reassuring message about the safety of Londoners and indeed people who were visiting uh, London uh, between the 2nd and 4th of March. Um, I would want to pay tribute to the investigators. Uh, they've been doing a very detailed, very diligent, very difficult job, uh, and they have done a great piece of work uh, so far. I pay tribute to the resilience of the people um, of Salisbury uh, and Wiltshire over the past six months, and they have been extremely supportive to the counter-terrorist investigators and other uh, police services. Um, of course, our thoughts are with Dawn Sturgis's family, uh, who lost her life, and all of the victims uh, are during uh, the uh, attacks. We remain uh, absolutely determined to identify and bring about a prosecution in the UK courts of those persons responsible uh, for these attacks, and we will do all we can uh, to get justice for the victims uh, and their families. Uh, but just to finish by repeating uh, the Chief Medical Officer's advice is that people who were in London on uh, between the 2nd of March and the 4th of March uh, are safe. Uh, and secondly, if anybody does know or recognise the suspects uh, and the images which have been shown uh, uh, across um, our screens in the last hour and will no doubt in the coming hours, uh, then they should uh, contact uh, us, the police, on 0800 789 321.